Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I will be speaking about what I actually used in my maternity bag at the hospital when we went in to have our baby. So if you are interested in knowing what I um, did use, keep watching. Okay, so let's get straight into it as usual. Um, so the first thing that i did use was a robe and a lightweight robe at that so it was april in south africa so it's sort of like change of weather so i wasn't 100 percent sure but you know what i did all this research beforehand and all these ladies kept on saying it's so hot in those maternity wards that you need a lightweight robe no matter whether it's winter or not and they were completely right <laughs> I was boiling uh, most of the time so just a t-shirt short robe was was um the best thing I I think I wore it like maybe 50% of the time which was gross but <laughs> since I was there for three days <laughs> but um it was just like the easiest to slip on slip off to go to the bathroom um because I had my c-section as well it was just so easy to to use um and with with a scar and everything so but that does move me into my second one is that I did bring leggings and I did use them but the maternity ones specifically I didn't bring the other ones um yeah so if you have maternity leggings do bring them if you're having a c-section I mean like if you're having a natural birth i'm sure you're going to be able to wear leggings but with the c-section it's a bit diff difficult to um wear like pants so the maternity ones are a bit higher and softer so um and stretchier <laughs> so yeah it, it's so important to to have something like that at the hospital i think because you don't want to be running around with uh, no pants on the whole time <laughs> just and not just the robe so yeah i did wear um leggings and when i wore those leggings that moves me into the third one is the maternity tops that i did bring i did wear um so when you're at the hospital it's very uh, like you're breastfeeding you're learning how to breastfeed and it's so 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 easy to just wear a maternity top and you know the clip out or clip down i guess <laughs> and um it's just so simple so easy um to yeah just to have that convenience so um do bring a couple of those if you are in south africa you do stay three days in hospital for a c-section obviously if there's complications and all of that it might be a bit longer um but the normal stay is three days so Rem always remember that as well like that you're going to be staying for three days um i wouldn't say that you need a lot of clothing because like the robe makes up for <laughs> having to um yeah so if you just bring like three tops three leggings i think like you can wear your robe you can wear your pajamas that moves me on to the next one the fourth one is that um yeah the pajamas the but button down pajamas specifically so that it just makes it easier to you know like get onto that breastfeeding um although i didn't end up doing it it did like in because I, I i did do it for the first two and a half days or two days um yeah so it was much much easier i did do it for the duration but majority are only breastfed for the first two days so um yeah it just makes it so much easier um with the button down um uh, pajamas instead of the um yeah just the full-on um pull over your head kind of pajamas so um yeah you don't and also you want something lightweight so so uh, yeah those button down pajamas must be in a don't try flannel it's gonna be way too hot for you yeah so um and then the fifth thing that i used uh, that i never thought i would use and i actually got it as a present in the hospital um and it, so it technically wasn't in my maternity bag but it was a maternity band so it was that you know those bands that uh, that people use to keep your stomach uh, together, I guess. Um, 
it just helped me weirdly with confidence like just to like just be like hey like i'm feeling smaller already like the and it but it did help like um to from the beginning to use that band to just you know um yeah keep everything together and not feel so self-conscious about and you know you what you shouldn't be feeling self-conscious but i know all of us women really do feel self-conscious about um how we still look pregnant but we don't have a baby in us anymore so um yeah so really it, it's something that i really used um i wanted to get on it right away you know what i've also been in the shops recently and the woman was talking to her husband and she's like i need one of these bands because it's just gonna make me feel better and don't even ask like honestly that was her conversation with her husband so um so yeah so she uh she was also purchasing it and she and i know that she is going to use that from the very beginning <laughs> i'm telling you so um and then the sixth thing was a feeding feeding pillow i showed you in the um essentials video that the zero to three month essentials video that um the feeding pillow was one of my essentials it was also one of my essentials at the hospital it was one of the best things that i actually brought to the hospital because it made this new thing that i had to do so much easier <laughs> um it just helped with propping her up and um yeah it just it just helped a whole lot and um, I think they call it a boppy or something like that in America and the UK I think I don't know <laughs> but um, yeah if you want to get yourself one of those and you want to make your life so much easier do it because it is and it's so low cost um, um, ours was 250 rand I think from baby city so yeah like really invest in one of those it was it's still to this day we are still using it and it's still one of my you know four to six month essentials because it helps them with tummy time it helps them with um just being able to prop up um just before they start sitting um so that's that's it's still to this day really 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 good. the seventh thing was um the maternity pad so that is something that they do provide for you in your uh bag that you get at the hospital something that i wish i had known before but uh so that i didn't buy so many because i personally didn't need um so many i didn't bleed that much at the hospital or after the hospital um so they provide you with 10 in your hospital bag when you're there and they're perfectly fine they're um they're a great make so if um i think they're carry well ones i think um if i'm not mistaken but um yeah buy yourself uh 10 more at least bring them to the hospital just in case you never know your body so i I used I think one of mine because I didn't use that many at, at the hospital I really stopped I think I stopped bleeding already at the hospital so that was interesting <laughs> so um yeah they you really don't need that that many of them unless you're I don't know I guess you're a heavy flow I, I'm not in general a heavy flow so um so maybe that has something to do with it I don't know I'm not a doctor but <laughs> what I'm telling you is that they do provide but bring extra <laughs> okay so and then the eighth thing was that uh, we used snacks like all the time <laughs> so I I don't know like the hospital food is great in South Africa actually is it's actually really not that bad but i'm not a huge drinker of water so i drank a lot of energy drink um an energy drink i mean like energade and powerade and stuff like that um so it was nice to have my own stuff there and then also i did eat a lot of those like little granola bars or like a little chocolate or something like that something that they don't provide you with at the hospital also they don't provide food for 
husbands uh, or partners or boyfriends, whatever you want to call them, um, <laughs> fathers. <laughs> so yeah, get yourself some snacks for him as well. He is going to be hungry. He is going to be looking at you when, when you are eating um, your supper or lunch or whatever, and he's going to be hungry. So um, yeah, just get make sure that you can get him some some snacks as well anyways i hope that you enjoyed uh listening to my video on what was useful in my maternity bag and i will hopefully see you all next time